Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Veldog and this is my kitchen where I'll be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, stay tuned in and let's get cooking. Okay guys, today on the chopping block, this is a tribute to Gordon Ramsay and I will leave the link in the bottom of the description. Today we're going to be making you guys let me take this off beef and with this beef I'm going to be making you guys some beef short ribs now he did a slow cook I'm doing a fast cook in a pressure cooker okay all right, these are the beef that I got here. I've been letting them sit out for about two to three hours for they become room temperature before we season them up. And um, it's roughly about five pounds of that. All right, show you some of the ingredients that we're going to be needing. We're going to be needing some wine right here. All right, we're going to need some olive oil. We're going to need two bay leaves. We're going to need some black pepper. This is coarse black pepper. We're going to need some garlic. We're going to need an onion. We're going to need some portobello mushroom. And this is a side. Um, this is asparagus. All right. And this is some bacon. This is like hickory bacon right here we're going to be using. I have a lemon. I have some shaved Parmesan cheese for my asparagus and the lemon as well. That's for that. Alright, I got some um, poultry season. I have some beef base right here. I have some Sazon, two packages of those. I have some dill weed that's going over the, over here for my potatoes. So some of these seasons are going in here and some of them going over there, okay? So don't get confused. We'll let you know as we go. There's some granulated garlic. This is some granulated um, onion. And I think that's about it. Show you the wine. All right, we're gonna have some rolls on the side, right here, and these are really good. All right, here's my uh, potatoes right here. So we're gonna have some baked potatoes, some Mediterranean baked potatoes. All right, so we're gonna be um, hooking this up. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this up, so we can go ahead and prep up our meat and. Um, our onions and all that stuff and I stay tuned in and do not change from this channel and I'll see you guys in a minute okay guys I'm back first thing we're going to do and I did forget to mention this uh, quote was this coarse sea salt all right first one thing we're going to do is give some of that and we're going to season this up just like this all over hope I'm doing okay for you chef I love Chef Ramsay. That's one of my uh, go-to chefs. I watch all his shows. Believe me when I tell you. The dude is a beast in the kitchen. So you make sure you go over there and show him some love. And please tell him Veil Dog sent you. Or not. Whatever. Okay. Now, we're going to take our black pepper. We're just going to sprinkle some of this on there. This thing always closes up every time I try to use it. Okay. But before we do all that, I think I'm done now. We're going to go ahead and put this back in the bowl. Because I don't want my board to turn orange. I'm going to take some of this Saison. Just sprinkle some of that on there. Don't call me no donkey, chef. Please don't call me the donkey. This is a compliment anyway. <laughs> but uh, he didn't put the sazon and none of that stuff on his. I can tell you that now. He's normally a salt and pepper man, pretty much. 
but I don't want to cook it just like him. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like stealing people's recipes, so I got to do a little twist with mine. So, yep, always do a little twist with your own. That's what you can call it yours. Now, he gave me an idea on doing it, and um, I'm going to run with it. All right? So, I'm going to go ahead and chop up this um, onions and um, just and uh, I got some garlic paste in there. And uh, we're going to fry up the, um, matter of fact, what we're going to do is, we're going to use the bacon. We're going to use the bacon and we're going to sear that stuff in the bacon grease. Okay? See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. We're just going to go ahead and start chopping up this bacon. So we're going to just put that in here. Like so. All right, come with this onion. Take the sleeve off of that one. I will keep your garbage can close by. Just like that. Now you can go straight down the middle like this. Just take the skin off. Now, this is what I do. I can hear him crying now, boy. I'm talking about, dang, how you cut that? <laughs> Supposed to use, uh, sometimes they use like the, uh, the uh, root part, they leave it in. And some of my videos I do. And plus, I got the wrong knife, too. So, sorry about that again, Chef. I'm just going to show you real quick what I'm going to do with the mushroom. I'm just going to cut these bad boys in quarters, just like that. That's all you're doing. You can use the, leave the stem in if you want to. If you don't want to, take it out. That's all we're going to do with those, cutting them in quarters. This is going to be uh, go along with the sauce at the end. All right? All right, guys. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to go ahead and show you these potatoes real quick. All we're going to do to these is just cut these bad boys in half, just like this. Nothing to it. What I'm going to do with these is um, rinse them off and keep them in cool water because I don't want them to turn brown. And yes, it is a tribute to Gordon Ramsay. He's one of my favorite chefs. I'm still waiting on Bobby Flay. You probably think, yeah, you're going too slow to be waiting on me. Because <laughs> they be floating, boy, I'm telling you. I'm not um, a certified chef at all. So. But I can cook just as good as them. they can. I'm not going to lie to you on that. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning into my channel. I couldn't do this without you guys. So we're going to put that right back into the bowl. Just like so. We're going to rinse them off two to three times. And then we're going to fill it back up with some water. And then uh, before we season them up, we'll dry them off and all that good stuff. Alright guys, I just showed you that. Show you to um, take you over here to the skillet. And I'll get this bacon cooking in a minute. Alright, I just turned it on. Um, it's warming up a little bit. Just going to throw our bacon in there. Spread that out. Not great doing a lot, but that's enough right there. So we pretty much doing we just cooking this down it's gonna go with our um, mushrooms and stuff like that but we're just gonna cook this down turn it brown and uh, get some of that bacon grease out of there try to add a little more oil so we can um, sear our um, short ribs 
All right, guys. Hey, you don't want to see this <laughs> for a long period of time. So, um, yeah, we're just going to cook it down. I'll see you guys in a minute. Shouldn't take no more than probably about two, three minutes. All right, guys. Okay, guys. It's about brown as I want mine. So I'm going to kind of like turn this off for now. I don't want to burn my pan too much. Take these out. We're just going to start st sticking those in there. Like that. Alright. So we got to brown this up. Cure it up real good. This should take about good 10 minutes. Turn this back up. About seven on a lecture stove. See you guys in a minute. So guys, this is what we're doing right here. We're just thinning it. This has been like two minutes per side. I got one more side to do and that's the back side. Okay? So I'm just showing you what, what you need to do. Alright? Alright, so when I get done with all this stuff, I'll show you what we be doing next. In a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Now what I did here is Put the um, the whole bulb of garlic in there. I took it out the peel and just put them around the sides, where the, you know little cracks and stuff. I'm gonna take this onion that we chopped up, sprinkle that in there. I put some thyme in there, fresh thyme. We're gonna take this beef broth. I got a cup and a half of that and a teaspoon and a half of um, beef paste. We're gonna have start this searing going because we're going to have to reduce this wine okay so we're going to pour this in there it's like a cup and a half of that we'll put this wine in here so that's about like a cup so we're just going to let that Reduce. It start cooking eventually. <laughs> okay, I'm just showing you what I was doing there, and I'll show you the uh, progress. Let me move this around here. Okay, when it start bubbling and all that stuff, I bring you guys back to that. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. He did put some beef. I mean, some paste in his. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this. Um, what is this? Um, tomato sauce so we're just going to put some of that in there and that's it that's about half a cup of that the tomato paste go a long ways alright Starting to bubble already. Don't take long for this thing. I could have had seared in here, but it's, this ain't that big to do all that with. Alright. Now, another thing I would like to add to it. That do taste good. Damn. I don't think I even want to add it, but I'm going to add it anyway because. Like I said, this is mine, right? I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. Taste, taste, tablespoon of that. Get this around a little bit. See if I can get this mixed up a little bit here. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and let us do its thing. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, this is where we at right now. Uh, reduce down. So 
we're just going to go ahead and just put this lid on and let it continue to cook. Put this on. And you can't find this particular item in the description. Okay, let's see where we're going to put it on. We go to the chicken meat portion. 40 minutes. See what it do on 40 minutes. All right, guys. Yeah, so let me show you. We just put it on 40 minutes. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. I am back. Here's our potato. I have a pan with some foil on it. All you want to do is take you some tape, um, like some olive oil. Two to three tablespoons of that. I'm gonna take some of this poultry seasoning, about a quarter teaspoon, some uh, granulated garlic, a tablespoon, granulated onion, a tablespoon. And I have some dill teaspoon. Just like that. And we're gonna get us some salt and pepper. So here's some salt. Uh, a teaspoon maybe. So enough of that. I don't like a lot of salt on my stuff like that. So uh, Half a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, now I need a glove. Put me a glove on. Could have been using these the whole time. Saved me a lot of time. And we're just gonna mix this up. Mix it up. There you go. Okay. Just like that. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 for about a good 45 minutes. All right. Then we're going to put this to the side over here. Get our pan. Like so. And put these bad boys on there. Like this. All right. That's that. Take this glove off. My oven already been preheated. I'm going to throw these in there. I might want to throw me. No, I ain't going to throw no more. I'll get carried away. I'll throw a little bit more dill on there. Just lightly. All right, see you guys in a minute. Yeah. I did <laughs> cut my stuff up. So, yeah, you just, you definitely want to cut the thick part off of your um, asparagus because it'll get kind of woody and kind of tough. So, and uh, you already know I'm going to blanch it. So, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm right here. Boiling the water for the um, asparagus. Put some salt in there. Probably about a half a teaspoon. Put my asparagus in there. Now all we're doing is blanching. We're gonna let this cook for about about uh, I want to say about the five minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. I let it cool off for a little bit. I'm gonna put a little of this bacon oil in here. Just a little bit. Put a little of this um butter. Teaspoon with that. Alright. We just some of that garlic paste in there, guys. It's like that, like a tablespoon. We're going to start putting our stuff in here. Our asparagus. Like that. Make sure it's well incorporated. We're going to come in with a little um, salt. Just dusting it. I ain't doing too much, just dusting it. 
Just like that. Some black pepper. Dusting it. Just like that. Incorporate that in there. Turn this all the way on simmer. Now what we're going to do is take some of this um, lemon juice. Half of it. Put some of that on there. Alright. The water's doing that. Simmer. Turn this back up a little bit more. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take our Parmesan. Put us some Parmesan on there. Just like that. Alright. Let me see some for the top here. Take our bacon. Put us some bacon in there. Alright, that's done. Let's go check on our meat. See what that's doing. Alright. Gotten if it's gotten any salt at all, <laughs> it should have. Yep, he can go a little longer. That's the ones at the bottom, probably done. Yep, see that almost ready to fall off the bone. See that? So we just gonna switch them around, Mr. Ramsey. This is on my menu for now on. OMG, that tastes super delicious, buddy. Oh, I'm ready to eat now. OMG. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to let this cook for about 20 more minutes. Oh, Jesus. What you and did to my, my palate, dude. Make me want to go to culinary art school now. Put it back on this uh, chicken. So they ain't got 15, I'll just stop it at 20. They only got 15, they don't have 20 on there. But I'll stop it at 20. Alright guys, see you in a minute. Okay guys, I am back once again. Bet you guys thought I forgot about that mushroom over there, didn't you? I didn't. I just, just talked. I want everything to cook right on time. Okay. I don't want to, one thing to be cold and the other thing to be hot. So here's the mushroom on up in there. A little salt. A little bit. We got salt on a lot of other stuff, so we don't need a lot of salt now. A little black pepper. I'm going to saute this up for about a good, I don't know, probably about two, three minutes. Alright guys, in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. There it is. I mean, this is my version of short ribs, Mediterranean potatoes, and um, asparagus with uh, lemon and bacon and um, Parmesan cheese and rolls right here. These are the short ribs right here. See if I can cut a piece. Actually, you really can because um, <laughs> actually what happened was they start falling off the bone. See that? There, guys. If you guys can see this up close. See that, guys? Go ahead and have a big piece of that. That's all you. 
right there. How tender it is. All I'm, just following the piece. Mmm, super delicious. Guys, I'm finna wrap this up. This is a tribute. Mmm. This is a tribute to Chef Ramsey, Gordon Ramsey. I hope you're watching. I hope you like what I did. And uh, guys, please give me a thumbs up, like and share. And tell all your friends and family to please tune in to Veldal Kitchen where I'll be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. And please, please hit that bell so you too can be notified next time I upload another delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys next time at Veldal's Kitchen. Let's get it.